pretty much since I started building things in this game, I've been wanting to build a treehouse village, and I've been thinking about putting one in this world. But I've also been thinking about how I can do it a little bit weirdly. You know, just make things a bit more strange than what a normal treehouse village would be. So of course, that is why I have come across the idea of a beat stalk house village. It's quite a bit to say, and I'm sure I could probably get that to sound a bit better, but you get what I'm saying here. We've got beat stalks, which don't actually exist, but they do here. And we've got houses coming off the beat stalks. I think I've got a pretty good plan, because it kind of touches on the treehouse, kind of touches on the beanstalk. Now the real question that we have to ask ourselves about putting a giant village up in a tree, or a stalk in this case, is will it village? Will it actually work? I don't actually know if it will work. You know, we're gonna have villagers up quite a few blocks and if they fall, it's not gonna be a very good day for the villager or me having to get a new villager to put up there. And not only that, will they actually go up there is another question that I have not been able to answer. And I guess we are doing an experiment today. So if it works, it works. Great, Treehouse Village looks fantastic. Now, while I'm building this, I do want to remind you that if you are enjoying these videos, don't forget to leave them a like. And of course, if you are new and you have not subscribed yet, don't forget to click the subscribe button as well. All right, so we've seen it from a whole bunch of different angles, but how does it look like to me or to anyone living here when we walk out onto this part here? Oh, look at that. That is fantastic. I am actually very, very pleased with this. And not only that, I'm also very, very excited to see what's actually going to happen with this piece here. But look at that. Can you kind of get that? Ignore this. Ignore that. Don't worry about that. But look at this. Like, think about more of these going up that way. Who knows? I actually don't know. But I think this is a good start to what we want to do. And I want to check this out from a little bit of a distance as well. Maybe we pop up over here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Now we do have things coming to the end here, and uh, we'll leave that till the end. We'll eventually get that up today, but for now, I'm very happy that I've got this piece up here. And of course, we do need to put a staircase up here, but that'll come in the future. Right now, I think I'm going to switch things up dramatically, and it's time for us to go head out far in that direction and get ourselves some mining done. So today our mining challenge is actually quite simple, and that is not going to be a very difficult challenge as such, but it is a challenge in terms of a larger challenge for me. Of course, I've still got a lot of work to do in this area, but the big work is down here. I actually forgot there was lava there. But the challenging thing for today is to make sure that we don't have tunnels that look like this. I'm not talking about three wide. I like the fact that we've got a three wide tunnel. What I really mean is a tunnel that is completely unsupported and I don't, whoa, man, <laughs> look how much of this stuff. I've just been waiting to collect these because I want to actually pick these up as a whole block, but yeah, I've got, I've got a lot of them. I don't really have a need for emeralds, but emerald ore, now that stuff's rare. So the way that we are going to be supporting these tunnels is by using these logs right here. And we're going to build little pieces on each side to make sure that when we walk through our mine, we feel like we're walking through a mine and not just this sort of place, you know? We got to make sure that it doesn't look like we are going to have a cave in. So that is why I'm going to be putting them down every few blocks. I'll work it out. I'll try to work out a good number. In fact, you know what? I'll, I'll test it out over here. Something simple like this. We'll count it out. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. I think I miscounted that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, we're good. So something like that. I don't know why I didn't do that block there, but something just like this. I know it seems a little bit weird, but as soon as you start having them all the way down to the end like that, I think it's going to look really good. And of course, it is going to chew through this stuff. I really thought two stacks was going to be a lot, but Hey, you know what? There's a challenge. How many diamonds can I get in just two stacks of these with every nine blocks? I'm going to be putting up six. So you can do the math. It's uh, it's pretty simple. We're not going to be going too far. So I'm interrupting this video right now, and it is important. Right now, I have got a brand new bunch of textures that you've probably been noticing from video to video to video, but now they're all together in a nice bundled texture pack for you to check out. Right here, we've got one of my favorites. It is the brand new lily pad collection. I don't know, I want to put more lily pads in it, but look at that. Fixes up the lily pads that look really dumb that sit above the water. And of course, you can still stand on them and they're not too far away. Plus, look at these guys. Yeah. The other thing is we have got better looking ground textures. I wasn't too sure about this one and I'm still in two minds about it, but I do like the fact that this just looks a little bit more soft around the edges. Nothing too much, but when you look underwater, look at that. And it's only really for ground blocks like rocks, dirt, sand, gravel, all those sorts of things. Another thing to keep an eye out for is the leaves on this pack. Of course, 
I love these droopy leaves, but not only that, here in our flower forest biome, the leaves are slightly more blue, just a tad slightly more blue, and it just works so darn well, makes this place look a little bit more magical, and I really do like that. Now, of course, I do like the default look of this game, but I like to add my own little enhancements while keeping with something that I like to think could actually exist in the game. And that is, of course, why I went like this with these lily pads. You know, a little bit different, but not too far away from where we are right here. Now, if you do want to get your hands on this resource pack, the link is down in the description right now. And of course, tell me what you think about it. Do you like these textures and which textures do you think we could change just a little bit? You know, you got to keep things looking like they are meant to be here in the game. And I think this pack does a good job of keeping things looking vanilla while also looking a little bit better. Whew. Oh, that was a close one. If I didn't hear that drop down, that would have been me there. Honestly, I thought I was going to take a little bit more, but uh, it seems like it was a good idea to take this armor. All right, so I've just run out of all of my logs. I've also run out of whatever torches I had conveniently right over here. As a matter of fact, I kind of ran out of them there. I just stopped putting them all out in the middle of these little pieces. But this was probably the most uneventful mining trip I have had. I've come across a fair bit of lava. There is some more logs going to waste. But pretty much nothing came out of this. Zero diamonds, a bunch of gold, a bunch of iron, but uh, really nothing too much to report home on. So I think I did challenge myself, but unfortunately, not as much as I wish we could have. So we will definitely have to be doing another trip very, very soon. No, we actually don't. I've been spending a bit more time down here because it was nighttime. I decided, you know what, let's fill in all the lava. And while I was filling in lava, I took a step around into these caves, had a little look around, and you will never believe what I just found, but at least two diamonds. But you know what, we got fortune three, and oh man, I cannot get the right things into the right places. Why am I even trying to put these in my hand? Now I've got steak in my hand, there we go, <laughs> right? Well, yeah, this, this has got me flustered. I know that there's lava around here, we've got three. There's a zombie around here. I think we're fine. I'm pretty sure we're good, but there is lava and that's what concerns me a little bit more than a zombie. So let's count three. I'm going to guess. Oh man, I'm feeling good. I'm thinking we're getting eight, eight diamonds from three or this is a big bet. I got, oh, okay. Four or still counts. All right. Three. Oh, one, five. Oh man. One, two, three, four, five and six. That was kind of a, a lame one there. Let's see. So out of the three, we only got six, but let's see if I get my eight. Okay. This is a big vein. Eight. Good. Hit the target. I don't think anything fell in there. And let's just do a quick dig down here. We've got ourselves 12. Beautiful. 15. 15 diamonds from zero to 15 in a few seconds. That over there is definitely an amazing mining trip. I am very, very pleased with that. Now I think I can finally go back home and actually feel accomplished about this mining session. So this right here is the first time I found myself with at least a few more diamonds than I actually could do with. You can see I'm looking pretty loaded right here. I've got all my tools, in fact, extra tools right now. And I think it's about time we start looking at getting a few better enchantments. And of course, that means we're going to have to do some enchantment hunting with some librarians because that there is the way that we do things around here. And I know a librarian that we can do some leveling up with, and it's actually not too far. And in fact, you know what? There's the trip right there. That's how long it takes to get to this village over here. And uh, you know what? I've actually been meaning to put a bridge over here because I tend to do this trip quite often. You just don't see me do it because there's nothing really too exciting to do around here yet. Maybe there will be in the future. I do think it would be of good value for me to put a bridge across there, so we might actually get to that. You know what? There's those things you keep putting off in your world and you're like, I need to fix that. I'm going to fix that. That's it. That's what I'm doing today. I'm fixing it. There's no stopping me. I'm going to put the bridge there at some point today. In the meantime, you can just be over there and I need to find my librarian. Fancy that in the librarian's house. All right. So we've got ourselves nothing really of too much value, but I do have a few extra emeralds. <gasps> I didn't trade the paper in. I'm going to have to do a trip back to get the emeralds from this paper. I thought I was going to have a lot more emeralds than this. All right, let's just see what you got, librarian. That's only going to get me to there, really? I feel like I'm almost really losing out. Like, that's going to be a lot of emeralds. Oh, man. All right, we'll do it. Oh, this is going to hurt. Yeah. Yep, no, the, oh, no. <laughs> that is horrible. That is horrible. I really should check. What was that one? That one's not going to do me too much good, either. Oh no! I knew that was going to happen someday, I just didn't think it would be the day today. 
That is a really, really, really big pain in the butt to get him back up here. Uh, I guess I got no other option. I'm going to have to just do it at some point. But uh, you know what? That's fine. He can wait down there for today. I'm going to get myself my trades that I want to done. In fact, I think he's right here conveniently. Yeah, right there. All right, I'm running out of ways I can get emeralds. So please, librarian, which does not have a name, give me something good, please. I, I'm really, really holding on to this over here being a good trade because I have gone through, look at that. There are a ridiculous amount of emeralds that I've gone through. There we go. Let's see what happens when he gets me something good. Riptide. Eh. All right. I guess that's what we're going to have to deal with. What does that even give me? Does that... Oh, we don't even have books here. You know what? We do have books here. Look at this. We've got ourselves books. It hurts me a little bit when I do this, but you know what? I'm going to have to. So where are you there? Really? That much? That is... Oh, I'm almost... Oh, that is a way better deal. That is something I even use. Yes, please. I will take all of those. Better not get 52 of them. But there we go. Let's do that there. Reset. And I think this next trait isn't normally anything too good from my memory. No, maybe there is. Maybe there is. 19 of whatever this is. I think it's going to be good. I've got a good feeling about this one. So uh, that just popped up for a second. I did not see that. Impaling three. This guy is definitely a underwater enthusiast. We've got ourselves Lure, Riptide, and Impaling. I hope that last trade, when we get to that last one, I think there's four book trades. I hope that one's good. But let's check this out. Mm, you know what? I could... I don't know what I'm going to do with that many Impaling books. That's like seven Impaling books, maybe? I'm going to see if I can find some squid around here, because I've seen quite a lot. So we might actually be able to do something with that and, in fact, save a few emeralds on this guy. All right, look at that. That was actually a really good trade. Now, what do you have for me next? Okay, that's the impaling one. Nothing of value, but at least this isn't too much. In fact, you know what? We are about to get you up to the next level. What is that? Emerald? Diamond. <gasps> that is the end. That is the last one. So what could I do with more of these or those? I feel like these, because eventually I'm going to probably trade them. I don't even know if I can trade them, but I can probably make maps. That's useful. I do like the clocks, though. That is something I do find quite useful. In fact, I was thinking about a clock today for my underground mining place, or my mining place in general. You know, right now, I'm not too sure if I want it to just be a meme trade, another one of these underwater trades, or an actual legit trade. Oh, man, it's a name tag. I should have thought about that. The last trade is a name tag. I should have known that, but hey, you know what? I will take a name tag. Thank you very much for that. So unfortunately, we did not get any of the enchantments that I would have wanted, which was actually pretty much anything besides those enchantments. I don't have any preference at all, but if I had just gotten something to put on my armor or something to put on one of my tools, I would have been pretty happy. But we got something better, which is a completely memed out villager for my underwater trident adventures one day. Coming soon, I'm sure. But man, that was uh, that was an insane amount of trading. And here, I have traded with this guy, actually. We've got ourselves a few Nautilus shells. They're going to work very well in my pond, I can tell you that. Yes, exactly. And I am very, very happy with that purchase. So he's saving our good friend, Librarian Reader. Got himself stuck down there. And I think this will work. Something like that. Catch you at the top. Look at that. Amazing. We got him all the way back up here. Now I need to work out a way to stop him from falling down if ever I open that trap door with him on top of it. Can you just go through that way? Just get off that water block, please. All right, we'll deal with him eventually. There we go. Thank you. I'm back here again, and I've got a full inventory of materials ready to build ourselves the bridge that I've been talking about. This will be a great bridge. We're going to build it right across here. It's going to connect that side to this side. And really, my only problem is going to be a forest, which is really nothing for this guy right here. As a matter of fact, I need to tie you up because I know this guy. He's going to be running around like a crazy horse all over the place. And I'm going to lose him for a few days, and then I'll have to find him again. And I really don't want to have to walk all the way back home by myself. So here we go. We can leave him in the town square with all these guys. I'm sure they'll look after him quite well. So really, I did say I want this bridge to be something that just helps me get across, but I can't really help myself, so I'm going to have to try and make it look at least decent enough for us to come past and take a little look, you know, say, I'm happy to cross that bridge, I'm happy to look at it from a distance, and of course, I'm getting stuff done in the world. That's more important, just getting stuff done in here. And of course, I'm planning on doing a lot more trading with this village. It's kind of a pity that I didn't do this really before, when I was moving a bunch of villages across. I really should have thought about that. 
But you know, I'm sure it's gonna help us out in the future. Now I'm kind of doing a little bit of a twist on this bridge that takes us a little bit further away from this very basic Minecraft village and moves it a little bit more towards the New Piddle Valley sort of look. And I guess it's just the use of these warped blocks, but I think they're gonna work quite well on this and it gives it a nice colorful feel while also kind of fitting in both cities. So it's time for our maiden voyage over this bridge. I guess it would be a voyage. That wouldn't be a voyage. I'm not moving the bridge. It's our maiden crossing of this bridge and look at that thing. This is going to be what's going to be bringing me to this village all the time. But look at that. How did that feel? Look at that. Let's do it again. Just multiple crossings. Test the durability of this bridge. Ah, oh, yes. That is a good bridge. Very, very happy. I kind of wish it clanked a little bit more as I went across. Just reminded me, you know, that's, well, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know, this guy just sometimes stops and does that, but it just kind of reminds me, you know, that's a, that's a good, high quality bridge. Now, come to think about it, I did probably cross back to go to New Pillar Valley, but hey, you know what, uh, it's our first time coming this direction, so that's what counts there. Now, I didn't really have a reason to come back here, but I made a reason to come back here, and I know for a fact that there's a villager, this actually could be the guy, who trades, no, 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 you, these for those. Yes, I will take him. You know what? This actually hurts me a little bit. I'm, I'm going to be completely honest. The reason it hurts me is because this stuff doesn't come easy. My farmer just wants to grow potatoes. So yeah, this is a kind of a rough one. Yeah, I'm not really interested in that. Maybe if I need a few more emeralds, I'll come back for one of those wheat trades, but I think that'll be fine. Now, what I actually came here for was to check up with maybe this guy over here. Yeah, we've done a few trades with him and he may very well give us something that we need because of course we did not manage to get ourselves any books, but this could be kind of cool and hmm, <laughs> yeah. well this is kind of rough. I guess one emerald really is pretty good for that. That over there would have been amazing. I need so many bells, but you know what? These are going to do perfectly. Who doesn't need that many pairs of pants? Now, please, these little bubbles mean good things. Hey, you know what? As far as the trade goes, I'm happy if I'm spending one emerald. I'm not even upset. That is fantastic. Perfect, perfect. Okay, load up again. Give me something good. Protection two and fire protection one. I did say I'm eventually gonna crack and get some good things, but I think, unfortunately for you, buddy, our good friend Hephaestus back in New Petal Valley has got some better things. So I apologize, but I'm not going to be doing any more trading with you today. And actually, you know what? I can do that. It'll be like, what? Yeah, maybe a few more. Maybe a few more. You know, I can't resist. Need me some chainmail chest plates. <gasps> oh, no. What have you done? <laughs> All right, I'll just take hats. That'll, that'll do. They do just as well as the chest plates. And bam. Give me something good. I can sense another diamond trade. Yep, uh, a lot of diamond trades. Fire protection and protection too. I mean, what would I ever do with one of these things? Yeah, I'm liking the way we set up right now. This is too overpowered. All right. I feel like we didn't get too much use of that maiden voyage, but you know what? We did cross the bridge and I'm happy about that. I'm happy we got a few more trades here and the village is starting to look a bit more lively. Don't look at me like that. All right, back to New Petal Valley. Now take a look at that non tree house village there. I think it's really starting to look so good. I really love just standing in this area, looking around. You can see everything's starting to fill up so well, even behind me. Look at that, all looking so good. But that over there, I think, is going to be one of our best looking areas. Just kind of picture a whole bunch of houses popping out there. And hopefully, if everything goes to plan, we should get villagers walking around there as well. I think it's going to look so awesome. And I can't wait for that over there to hopefully work. If not, you know what? I'll be happy just looking at it. I think it'll look really, really good. But you know what will look good? Is me putting in the piece that this bridge connects to. I kind of just felt like leaving it for a bit, you know? Let me think about what I want. I had a plan. I'm going to go with my plan. I think it's going to look good. I really do. I, I've been in two minds about this thing, but I think it's really going to work out well for our village. Can I get up there? I feel like I can make that. Right, if I go up there, do a little bit of a spin around there. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we can do this. We can do this. So we got to go up here all the way and sneak over. Oh yeah, that's going good. My parkour skills are improving every day, I tell you, but what I need to do is get up here. No real way around not placing some dirt blocks there and one over there. Wonderful. All right, so we need this over here to be centered to that. All right, we're gonna get rid of those blocks. I think I've got a plan here. All right, so let me get to it. We're gonna lay out a little bit of a base and then from our base floor here, oops, uh, yeah, you know what? I don't feel bad about those vines. They don't grow on trees, but they do grow near them. And uh, that's good enough for me. So my idea, and this is where I really think 
everything will come together to tell us, will this work, will this not work, in terms of getting a village up here. And that is, if we put in a village bell, which I forgot to bring, but another one of those, right over here. Will this work as a perfect bell tower for these guys to hopefully all gather around during the day? I think it would uh, look very, very good if it does work out that way. I'm not too sure if it will. I'm really kind of worried that it won't, but I think we'll definitely get villagers coming up here and checking things out. I mean, could you blame them? Look at that view and imagine what that view is going to look like. So this is my easy part. Just go around here, put this roof on this thing. And then I think the hard part really starts, you know, that's, that's when everything gets, oh, 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 everything starts to get very tricky from then on out. So let's just hope this over here goes smoothly. A nice simple roof, nice and easy, not too big, not too small. I want it to be slightly taller than the rest and still feel like this because this is still part of the same village. Make it feel like this doesn't come out of the village. So that's really what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make sure that this part of the village feels like it's part of that part of the village. The last block for the roof has just been put in. Actually, I need a few blocks in here, but the last real kind of obvious block for the roof has been put in. Let's see if we've got something that is at least of a satisfactory level for some villagers to come look around in. I also need to get some of those. In fact, we will be saving. We'll put in one of these slabs. So there we go. Saved half a block right there. Do I just jump down? Kind of feel like I've come too far. Let me also just get this trash around here, make sure that doesn't build up and look ugly. Now, let's check this out. Hmm, looking very, very good. I like that, look at that. Imagine a little bell on that. We also gotta fix up the bottom there, but that is looking very good. Just hanging from the stalk, so good. All right, that there is an improvement. Let me just come around this way. Maybe we'll see it a little bit better. Yeah, that's it. You know, it blends in a little bit too much with those trees, considering, well, leaf and leaf, but that looks so, so good. Look at that, just hanging over the edge there. I'm gonna have to find a new favorite spot, like this spot over here might very well be one of my new favorites. Yeah, look at that, even get the little boat and everything in. That is looking even better than I expected. Sometimes we kind of feel like, oh, I got a good idea, but I don't know if it's actually gonna turn out because quite often it doesn't turn out too good. But that over there is one of those ideas that I've had, I thought about it, and it actually did work. Now, the real thing that I need to find out if it does really work is that I need to get one of these and put that in there. All right, so here goes. Nothing happened. Of course nothing happened, nothing was meant to happen, but I do want to find out eventually, and that is definitely not going to be today. However, I am wondering, do I get rid of that one and just leave this one in here, or do I try the Double Bell Village? I feel like it'll probably create a village there and a village here, but you know what? I'm down to figure it out. I'm down to have a little bit of a challenge to get this to work because I will stop at nothing but getting a villager, at least one, to come and walk around here. So that will be us for today. Thank you so much for joining me here. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next one.